Have you ever experienced the timeless charm of the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther? When was the first time you watched this iconic comedy classic? And out of the many roles in the film, which one was your favorite? As we dive into the world of this delightful film, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Revenge of the Pink Panther. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage for some random facts about the show. Revenge of the Pink Panther is the sixth installment in the Pink Panther series, featuring the bumbling yet endearing Inspector Jacques Clouseau, portrayed by the legendary Peter Sellers. Directed by Blake Edwards, this film showcases Clouseau's relentless pursuit of the infamous Phantom, a master thief, in his own unique and comical style. It's a roller coaster of hilarious escapades, disguises, and absurd situations that will keep you entertained from start to finish. Whether you're a longtime fan or discovering this cinematic gem for the first time, Revenge of the Pink Panther offers an unforgettable experience of laughter and lighthearted entertainment. So, share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments with us in the comments section below. We can't wait to hear your stories and connect over this cinematic classic. In Homework, her 2019 Hollywood memoir, Julie Andrews recalls that her husband, writer-director Blake Edwards, had much difficulty working with, and around the erratic behavior of star Peter Sellers, whom she characterizes as moody and paranoid, superstitious about the color purple, and holding regular conversations with his dead mother. One night, after a long day in which only one shot was completed, Sellers phoned Edwards very late and told him that he had spoken to God who had told him how to solve the problem with the scene they were working on. The next day, when Sellers described it, Edwards found the idea so appalling that he responded, Peter, the next time you speak to God, tell him to stay the hell out of show business. This behind-the-scenes story sheds light on the challenges faced during the making of the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther. Peter Sellers' erratic behavior and peculiar superstitions created difficulties for the production team, making it a memorable, albeit tumultuous, filmmaking experience. Sellers' conversations with God and the unconventional solutions he proposed added an intriguing layer to the film's production history. Revenge of the Pink Panther, the fifth and final installment of the 1970s Pink Panther series, marked the last live collaboration between Peter Sellers and director Blake Edwards. Filming, however, faced delays due to Sellers' health as he suffered another heart attack in March 1977. The production team traveled over 25,000 miles to shoot this movie, covering locations from Paris and the French Riviera to eastern settings in Hong Kong. This film is a notable chapter in the Pink Panther franchise, encapsulating the challenges faced during its creation and the unique blend of comedy and international settings it brought to the screen. The opening credits of the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther bear the title Sellers, Edwards' production, hinting at a behind-the-scenes power struggle between Peter Sellers and director Blake Edwards. Sellers had plans to take the Pink Panther franchise in his own direction, even working on a script tentatively titled Romance of the Pink Panther, which he intended to direct. This subtle credit change marked a turning point in the Pink Panther series, as it hinted at Sellers' ambitions to take creative control. While filming in Hong Kong, an unexpected incident occurred when a local policeman witnessed actor Bert Kwok stealing a motor scooter for a scene in the movie. The officer promptly chased and arrested Kwok, leading to several hours of convincing the policeman that the scooter theft was part of the film's production. This real-life escapade added an unexpected layer of excitement to the filming process. In the film's trailer, there is a deliberate and humorous misnaming of Jack Clouseau as Henry Clouseau several times. This playful mistake is a nod to a scene in the movie where Clouseau dons a disguise resembling the famous artist Henry de toulouse lautrec The intentional misnaming is a clever touch of humor, as it can easily be misheard as Andre, leading to some amusing confusion. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes provide fascinating insights into the making of Revenge of the Pink Panther, shedding light on the dynamics between Sellers and Edwards, unexpected real-life encounters, and the film's playful approach to humor. It's a reminder that even in the world of comedy, there can be unexpected twists and turns. Second build Herbert Long turns up 34 minutes into the film as Chief Inspector Charles Dreyfus. No mention is made of him blackmailing the entire world, 
and subsequently disintegrating in the previous movie, the Pink Panther strikes again. It is possible that Dreyfus created that entire story in his mind while he was locked up in the mental hospital. It is also possible the unbuilding and Dreyfus reappeared, not disappearing forever. It is more likely, however, that the makers simply chose to ignore continuity and wanted Dreyfus back anyway, as the comedic interaction between Sellers and Lom had long been a favorite among both fans and critics. This intriguing return of Chief Inspector Dreyfus adds an unexpected twist to the movie, showcasing the enduring appeal of the sellers lom dynamic, despite the disregard for continuity. Peter Sellers' final official appearance as Inspector Clauso in Revenge of the Pink Panther marked the end of an era for the iconic character. This 1978 movie was the last time we saw Sellers portraying the bumbling yet endearing detective. It's worth noting that the subsequent sequel, Trail of the Pink Panther, was compiled using outtakes and unused scenes from the previous film, The Pink Panther Strikes Again. Sellers' portrayal of Inspector Clauso had become a beloved an enduring part of the Pink Panther series. His comedic interactions and misadventures had captured the hearts of fans and critics alike. While the movie itself had its share of behind-the-scenes challenges and unexpected incidents, Seller's final bow as Klauso remains a significant moment in the history of the franchise. Revenge of the Pink Panther may have had its share of quirks and production hiccups, but it's Seller's farewell to the role that truly stands out. With this film, we bid adieu to a character who brought laughter and amusement to audiences for years. During the making of the 1978 movie Revenge of the Pink Panther, an unexpected royal visit took place. The set welcomed the House of Windsor Princes, including King Charles III, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. However, their visit wasn't without its amusing moments. During a scene, after a third take had been ruined by the prince's laughter, King Charles III good-naturedly apologized, saying, Y'all never get it right if I keep laughing in the middle. This unexpected visit from royalty added a touch of humor to the production of the film. Reportedly, both Peter Sellers and Blake Edwards had previously stated that The Pink Panther Strikes Again would be their last Pink Panther movie. However, within just two months, Revenge of the Pink Panther was already in development. This sudden turnaround in their decision to continue the franchise showcased their dedication to the beloved series and the enduring appeal of Inspector Clauso. If Peter Sellers had not tragically passed away, the next film in the Pink Panther series, following Revenge of the Pink Panther, would likely have been Romance of the Pink Panther. This film would have represented the next chapter in the series and the creative direction Sellers intended to take. However, fate had other plans, making Revenge of the Pink Panther his final official appearance as Inspector Clauso. In summary, the production of Revenge of the Pink Panther saw a royal visit, a surprising decision to continue the series, and the potential for a unique sequel that was never realized. These facts offer intriguing insights into the world of the Pink Panther and the people behind it. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey through the zany world of the 1978 classic, Revenge of the Pink Panther, it's time to reflect on the personal connection we've all built with this timeless masterpiece. This iconic film, the fifth installment in the Pink Panther series, continues to be a source of laughter, mystery, and sheer entertainment for viewers of all generations. Its unforgettable characters, led by the bumbling yet endearing Inspector Jack Clauso, played by the legendary Peter Sellers, have left an indelible mark on the annals of comedy. Now, I invite you to take a moment to ponder your own relationship with this cinematic gem. Did you first watch it with your family, sharing hearty laughs as Klauso's antics unfolded on the screen? Or perhaps it was a movie night with friends, where you collectively reveled in the absurdity of the Pink Panther's capers. Whatever your connection, Revenge of the Pink Panther has woven itself into the fabric of our lives, evoking fond memories and a shared appreciation for the art of humor. Maybe you've even tried to emulate Klauso's clumsiness at some point, much to the amusement of those around you. Now, it's your turn to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or even your own Klauso-inspired mishaps. Let's celebrate the laughter and joy that this movie has brought into our lives and keep its legacy alive for generations to come. Thank you for taking this moment to reflect on your personal connection with Revenge of the Pink Panther. Your memories and thoughts are what make this film even more special. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Stay tuned for more cinematic journeys and delightful conversations right here.